Peace family. Welcome to our credit healing and engine and system software, which is the most powerful and state of the art credit healing software in America. Now, before we delve into the demo, I want to just talk a little bit more about myself. So my name is Aurel Muhammad and I founded Credit Healing LLC in 2016 when I saw that there was an issue in our communities. And I said that I wanted to basically help our people and all people be able to get out of the condition that they were in, as well as be able to alleviate them of many stresses that a uh, bad credit as well as poor debt can cause and so i founded it i knew that i had an end goal in mind which is to help millions and so now we've actually developed a powerful credit healing software that can basically scale that up by allowing you to be able to help others with their credit as well all right so we're going to go ahead and delve into the demo and i'll see you on the other side okay so this is your dashboard now your dashboard will simply show you uh, basically what you've done, the progress that you're making, uh, how many clients you have, how many clients are coming in, et cetera. So you can have a clear idea as to what's going on uh, in your credit repair business, all right? So top left-hand corner, this is the dispute center. Uh, so this shows you how many disputes you've sent out. It shows you the percentage uh, that you've sent out uh, weekly. And this allows you to be able to track your business so you understand what works in terms of marketing, what's not working, etc. Clients. So here you see how many clients uh, you have, and this tracks it for you. So you understand, well, this is how many clients that we've gotten for this week, and next week we plan on getting more clients next month. And this helps you understand and have a very clear idea as to how you're doing it. This is simply called analytics. Templates. So the template manager, which will show you, but the template manager just shows you how many templates and what type of templates are inside of your portal. Now, if you would like to add more templates, you can do that as well. And we'll show you uh, shortly. But here for the demo, we have 18, 118 templates uh, for our dispute process. Just in case, if you want to review it, we'll show you where it's located. All right. Now, new client. So this just simply shows you how many clients that you're getting per day. All right, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These days are the days that it's gonna track. So you can see, well, I'm getting clients these days, these days I'm not, let me focus on doing marketing in these areas. And so you have a clear idea as to where you're going in your credit repair business. Now, granted, this is a demo, so this particular page is a demo, but I want to show you how it works and how it functions. All right, now disputes. So this shows you how many disputes you sent out in the month of uh, July. The demo sent out uh, 248 uh, disputes for that particular month. So again, this allows you to see the progress that you're making. And if you have a team, then you all can come to the dashboard and you can have the comment, you can observe it and have the conversations and see okay well yeah we need to work on these areas we need to market in in this particular location we need to do more social media marketing etc so the analytics is good to help you grow and scale your credit repair business now towards the bottom you see order supplies for business so instead of having to let's say for instance go to office depot or walmart you can get discounted uh supplies or stationery when you click on this button down here at the bottom when you click on this button you can it brings you to another website and then you can order your own supplies which is your paper your envelope your ink etc right here so you don't even have to leave your house to do that the client center so this is where you're going to go to manage your clients when you first sign up for chess you're going to see a blank page such as what you see here now the more clients you get the more the table built out and the more clients you're going to see that you can manage directly inside of chess and we're going to show you how you can manage it right inside of chess but for this particular video we're going to show you how to add clients to the client center as well as how to get clients without even having to add them because they would then sign up for your services all right so the first method that we're going to show you is the adding them manually very simple and very easy so what happens is if you go here and you click on the add new client you're going to see this information you don't have to fill that out they're going to fill it out so the only thing that you have to enter is the first name last name and email address 
So if you buy leads, then you can actually add your clients right here inside of the module. This is the manual way to do it, but you can also upload a bulk load of them. And we're going to show you that as well. But let's say for instance, we're going to add Mark. Let's say Mark Basil. Okay. And we're going to use the email chess tester 13 at gmail.com. Right. That's all you need. These are the required documents. It's automatically checked the driver license, the social, and here you're going to say the click, click that, but that's automatically selected the send email. All right. So all you have to do is enter first name, last name, the email address, and then click on save. Now, when we save it, it's going to automatically send the person an email. Okay. So now after you have added the first name, last name, and email address, it then sends the lead an email to sign up for chess. And here it's going to have your logo right there. And as you can see, welcome dear Mark Basil. Now what they're going to do is they're going to simply register their account, which is very simple and very easy. And they can do it within only a few steps. So what they'll do is they'll click on this button here and it says confirm account. And so when they are brought to the landing page, now I do want you to know this, everyone is going to have their own landing page. So you're going to have your landing page and everyone else is going to have their own landing page. So you don't have to pay for an external landing page. We are going to cover that for you. So I want you to know that before you sign up, because we want to help you to quickly onboard to begin helping people with their credit. In addition to that, before uh, we continue with this particular step we want you to know that when they click on the button you're going to have uh, a, what's called a token and the token is going to be your own unique url and in the url what's going to happen is when they click on that button and they sign up and register they're going to register under your account so you don't have to worry about trying to track your leads and track to see who signed up anyone who signs up under your registration process you're going to see it inside of your client uh, dashboard or client table. So what they're going to do is they're going to go down here. All they have to do is uh, create a password, which is whatever unique password they want. They can do it right here. Now, the other thing is you see how it says credit healing here. Your credit repair business name is going to be in this particular landing page. OK, so I want you to know that in this landing page is is excellent It's awesome and you'll be able to see here that simply we have done all of the hard work for you to whereas that when your clients come to the landing page they'll be able to see that you do provide excellent service all right so once they complete their registration by simply creating a password they're going to be brought to the profile page okay so i'm going to just take one step back so you can see that we also have a tour so when they sign up for chess we're going to give them a brief tour on how to sign up so therefore you don't have to communicate with them nor do you have to even tell them how to sign up in terms of when they first register because we do that for you again this particular process is very easy and we've optimized it to whereas that it makes your job much easier and you don't have to hardly do anything we have already done that for you so we give them the steps, step one, step two, and step three. And then we also let them know that they can view their progress dashboard. Okay. And we'll show you that shortly. And then also the dispute center. So now we're going to go through the steps. Step one is simply their profile. They're going to complete the profile by simply entering their first name, last name, email address, uh, physical address, etc. All that good stuff. And then the second step is creating their account so you can have access to their credit report. So there's just simply click on this hyperlink here. And when you click on it, it's going to redirect them to another page. And then they're going to just register their account. Now they're going to come back to this particular page and they're going to enter their email address, their password, and the last four of the social. And then they're going to click on this blue button right here. Excuse me. So you can't, let's make sure that you can see it. All right. So this blue button here to the right. All right. 
And then when they click on that blue button, step number three is simply uploading their required document. So their driver's license, as well as the social security. And for each step that they complete, you're gonna receive an email notification. So whatever email that you signed up on or using, what we actually suggest that you do is two things. One thing is have your phone send you notifications to this particular email that anytime an email is sent to this particular email address, you'll be notified. So what we do is we make sure that we're notified via the computer as well as the mobile device so we know what's going on when people are onboarding and signing up. And so when they complete step one and step two, you're gonna receive an email notification. When they complete step three, you're gonna receive an email notification. And so therefore you know what's going on and you're not left in the dark and it's very simple when they sign up and it helps you throughout the entire process. Because what we always want is we always want ease of use. We want everything to be easy as we're using it and we've made sure to make chess this powerful to where is that it makes your job easier. So after they complete the profile, then all you have to do is, and we're gonna show you shortly, but all you have to do is just click on and go to their profile and then click on print. But we're gonna show you, just bear with me one moment because we wanna show you what's on their side. So after they have uh, entered their information right here, they'll be able to go to the progress dashboard, okay? So they can see when they are, um, when they've signed up and you have extracted the credit reports, then what is gonna happen is that they're gonna be able to see their credit report. So right here, we'll see that their Experian credit report is 596, TransUnion is 642, and Equifax is 644. And they'll be able to see what's been deleted, uh, what's been updated, what's in progress down here at the bottom. They can see what's also occurring here in the channel section. So they're not left in the dark nor do you even have to communicate with them over the phone to let them know, hey, well, this is what we got deleted. This is what happened. This is where your scores are. No, Chess does everything for them. All right, so this is their dashboard. So now we have the dispute center. So we're gonna click on the dispute center right here. So now here, your client can now see exactly what you are doing on their credit, okay? So as you can see at the very top, it shows everything that is related to the dispute. So we have the open, when it was open, the type, the creditor here, the account number, it doesn't show the full account number for their security. It shows the status of, right here, it shows the status of the dispute. So this is basically what you're doing. It shows what's been deleted, what's been updated, et cetera. And then it also shows the reason, okay? So this is the reason that you have applied to your clients disputes, which will then show them exactly what you're doing. So if you click on the eye right here to the right, then we'll see that this is a letter that was sent out. This is a demo, but so this isn't an actual letter, but it's showing you and it shows the client exactly what was sent out for them. So they can be able to read the letters and see okay, well, yeah, this is what they're doing for me. Now this builds rapport between both you and your client because, and it also builds trust because now they don't have to ask you what has been done, what is being sent out for me. They can go directly to the dashboard and see everything. So this makes your job easier and it also builds confidence in your client because now they can see that you are doing what you say that you're gonna do and therefore they're gonna refer other people to you to help build your business and so they can see everything and if you want to go to the second page you can go there see what's pending see what's new what new accounts may that have appeared on the credit report so again this is something that's very simple and very easy and is very efficient for your business so you can grow your business as much as possible and we're not going to go through everything on the on their side but we're going to also go back to yours so now it's time to go back to your dashboard. Okay, so now once you sign in, you will then go down to where it says client center. You'll find the client. Once you find the client, it's very simple and very easy. So we recommend here where it says the follow-up, 
because you're going to see their information here. So anytime that a person signs up, it's going to put them in the lead status. When you begin working on their credit, as well as after they make the payment, then we recommend you do two things. The first thing is you put the follow up uh, as 30 days later. So let's say, for instance, if you know the person has signed up on January the 1st, 2023, then now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the follow up 30 days later. Therefore, you know exactly when you wanna follow up with this particular client. So we're gonna just make that 30 days later. And there, and again, um, this is December 24th, 2022, which is giving this demo to you so you know and understand. And the second thing is the, uh, the status. So basically the status is now active. So you're gonna make the status active. It's gonna be lead right here, but then you're gonna make that as active. Now, we do want to mention this for you as well. If you scroll down, you're gonna see a lot of different things here, all right? The first thing is active. The second one is inactive. So if you have any clients that are inactive, um, or that say for instance they haven't made a payment, then you can click and select inactive. Lead canceled. Um, let's say for instance if a client have started the process of completing the profile, such as they completed step one or two. Well now, um, as you can see here, that you can put it as incomplete profile. So you know, well this client has not completed the profile, so we're gonna uh, follow up with them via email, give them a call, etc. As well, as well as identity IQ login incomplete. So if they have completed that, you can also put that in there. Payment incomplete, the payment is income, uh, if it's not complete, then what you can do is you can just simply just not notate that or notify your team um, that you have notated that here. Or if the ID forms is, are incomplete. So if they haven't uh, uploaded the ID forms, you can just put that here just to take note. If you have any affiliate marketers, and you would like to do business with people. Well, you can also, when they sign up, you can list them as an affiliate marketer and then they can basically just refer other people to you and you'll be able to receive credit for everyone that they refer to you, as well as business leads. So that's a little different, um, but we do want you to know that. Now, before we get into the dispute process, we want to talk about the cold leads. And we want to briefly talk about this because we want you to be able to get as many leads as possible so you can build your business. Well. It's very simple via Excel spreadsheet. You can upload it here and then it's going to send an email notification to every single person that the that you have uploaded inside of your database. And then when they sign up, all of a sudden you're going to see all these people that's going to sign up and therefore you can start working on their credit as well. So um, that's another way for you to generate leads is by simply uploading that. Again, this is a very powerful system and we made it powerful so you can benefit tremendously from it. All right, so now we're gonna to go to the dispute process. All right, so we're gonna click on the D. So again, this is the client that we have actually seen. So this is the information that's associated with this particular client. Again, when you extract the credit report, and we're gonna go here. And as you can recall, this is the dashboard, okay? This is what the person will see on their end. And so this is the summary page. The summary page shows the initial score right here, the current score, and the improved score, all right? So it shows uh, where the scores were when you first started, which is the initial score, the current score as it relates to where it is now, and then the improved score is how many points the scores have increased or changed while you've been working on the credit profile. And then also you can look at their, your extraction history. So anytime that you have extracted the credit reports, this will then show inside of your summary page. All right, so you can keep track of everything that you're doing throughout the dispute process so you can keep track of it and then you can let them know. So again, once this particular client has signed up, all you have to do is click on where it says extract current report. And then once you extract it, it's going to put everything inside of your dashboard and then they can see it as well. So again, all of this is dynamic. So 
the email address that's right here the logo who this particular evaluation is prepared by all of this is going to be your information okay this is your information and i want you to go over and read this but this simply just educates your client so you want to not only provide good service for your client but you also want your client to be educated well instead of you doing it our software does it for you okay so now when we scroll down you're going to see what is a charge off account or how many charge off accounts are on the person's credit report what you'll see here is 14 charge off accounts it shows the status of everything okay the late payment how many late payments the person has the inquiries etc and then also shows them the comparison between a good uh, score and a lousy one and it, then it shows them the interest rates etc so all this is educational material for your client when they first sign up so all you have to do is just click on where it says share with client so when they sign up once you extract as we have demonstrated here it's going to bring to the evaluation credit report it's going to put everything in there go down here and click on share with clients so the evaluation is simply a credit audit it's just an audit that shows them what is on the credit report as well as what you're going to be doing for them so you don't have to sit there and explain to them line by line uh and account by account what you're doing the software does everything for you with just a click of a button okay so now what you do is you go to the dispute center and we're going to um, talk about a few of the features there are a lot of features that you can utilize it's very simple um visually we made sure that the user interface is very beautiful but we're just going to talk about a few things that you can do right here in chess all right so here as an example for the first account okay the first account you can view the template so you can see what disputes are being sent out what letters now, everything is completely automated so you don't do anything the only thing you have to do is really just go in here and make sure that all of the dispute letters are what you want them to be everything's all is already generated but you can just review them and if you would like to change the dispute letters you can do so as well but all i have to do is print but before we do that i'm going to just show you so the first thing is the view template if you like to duplicate the role so say for instance if you would like for this particular dispute letter to also be sent out to a creditor you can just duplicate it it's going to duplicate all the account history and everything and then you could just assign it a different letter so you go to the templates and then you'll just select the one that you want very simple and very easy if you have any questions you can always reach out to us all right and then if you would like to print so if you'd like to print the letters um individually you can do that right here but once you have extracted the credit report all you have to do is click on this uh button the check box right here and then click on print all okay so when uh, click on print all it's going to simply print all the dispute letters for you very simple and very easy to use so we have other features that are in here as well um, such as if you'd like to change an item so as an example if you like to if there is um, hypothetically speaking there's a bankruptcy you could change the bankruptcy to um, foreclosure okay we can say foreclosure for this so you could change the type bankruptcy to foreclosure a okay and the click on execute and it's going to change um, every time that it sees the bankruptcy the first one it's going to change to uh, a foreclosure whatever you choose in this particular column okay and the other things are if you like to change the templates if you like to uh, whatever you like to change you can do it in bulk you don't have to do it one by one the software automatically does everything for you all you have to do is go here and then click it all right and as we have discussed before if you like to add disputes you can do that here if you like to print you can also print um and if you like to fax you can also fax the letters say for instance if you like to fax to a credit bureau or creditor or collection agency without having to print it you can do that as well and then the envelopes 
so our system automatically prints the envelopes for you so you don't have to manually write the information on the front of the envelopes all right and then after you have printed the letters out you wait 30 to 45 days when your clients start to receive their results in the mail and then you can send them um, their evaluation or excuse me the progress report and that's the next one but when you send them the progress report it's going to show what the improvements are etc so you don't have to communicate that with your client and so this is how easy utilizing chess is it's not hard it's very easy and it's simple to do with just a few clicks you'll be able to be successful just as we are successful now once your client has signed up and you are prepared and you're ready to send out their first round of dispute letters what you're going to do is you're going to go down to where it says dispute activity status this section allows you to be able to mark time and as well as be able to see when you send out the client's dispute letters. Now, as we have mentioned before, that you should track uh, their your activity by saying that we're gonna follow up with them in the following 30 days. But here, what you're gonna do is, when you come here, you're gonna click on where it says add new activity at the top right hand corner, and you're gonna find the client, okay? So you click on that particular client, and you will then mark the date that you are starting to work on their disputes. And then you're gonna mark the priority. So if this is a client that, I'm um, gonna say for instance, they paid a little more or that they have some urgent things that they need to take uh, care of and you'll be doing that for them, basically you will just mark that. But typically we'll select medium priority. And then here you're gonna say that this person is in progress the project manager let's say for instance project manager is john smith or if you have a team that you would like to work with you can just assign people to work on uh different people's uh, profiles but this is for you to be able to track exactly what is going on in your business okay so click on save all right so now we clicked on save and we are going to start working on the person's dispute letters and for every person that signs up and you begin working on this few letters, our activity status uh, module allows you to be able to track the progress. So when a person may say, well, when did you send out my letters? You can always refer back to this, okay? Or let's say for instance, if um, a conversation that you are having a conversation with your client and the conversation may uh, go to the particular route Whereas that they're wondering, well, when did you send my letters? Well, you can always refer back to this and say, well, this is the dates, um, this is the date, or these are the dates that we sent out your letters. And therefore, um, they'll have a clear idea as to what's been done, okay? So now, communication. It is very important for you to communicate with your client. If you do not communicate with your client, you won't be successful and you are most likely gonna have more issues than not. So we recommend that you utilize our customer support system. So this is a two-way, one-to-one encrypted communication process to where is that you don't have to uh, speak to your clients via telephone or even text message. I know a lot of people, they communicate with their clients via text message. Well, our system is very powerful, allows you to have a one-to-one -one communication with your client. So here, as an example, if I were to send Mark Basil, uh, hey Mark. Have you received your letters the mail? Okay, so when I send Mark a message via live chat or customer support on our side, what's gonna happen is Mark is gonna then receive an email the email notification is going to then tell him to check his um, to check his portal so he can then see what messages you have left for him. So when he goes in and he checks it, he's going to, well, when he logs in, he's going to see a notification next to live chat on his side that will simply will then allow him to be able to click it. And when he, he clicks it, he can see the message that you've left for him. Now, you can not only use this with active clients, but also leads. So you can follow up with your leads via um, live chat. And then this allows them to be able to see exactly what you have relayed to them. So then when Mark then responds, you're gonna see an email notification. 
and this email notification um, is going to be sent to you and then when you log in you're going to see an email notification on your side in your dashboard so this allows you to be able to communicate one-to-one -one with your clients as well as leads and it makes your job so much easier so let's see if we can go here and locate this account all right so now you can see here this is Mark's email and here it says email or message notification from the company and it's gonna have your company name your company logo so this is after you have sent as you can see zero minutes ago says dear Mark Basil there's an important message waiting for you in chess to them to log in when they click on that they'll log in and then they'll see the message on their side okay and then when they see it then when they respond to you then you're gonna receive an email from uh, from chess okay so now there is no communication that is broken from that point in time right so they can't say well I called you and you didn't answer if you are busy at the time that they call you just tell them to text you or message you in live chat inside of chess and then when they do that you'll receive it and then you respond accordingly once you get a moment all right so that's a very very powerful feature that we have included inside of our software chess that allows you to be able to have a streamlined service between both you and your clients and therefore make your job so much easier so now we're going to go into the next feature sending out mass emails now if you have imported a ton of leads and it's very simple for you to do it if you already have a business such as if you're in real estate taxes etc and you have already captured these emails and you would like to offer your clients credit repair then you can do that right inside of our credit healing engine and system software all right so you can communicate with your clients via email um, and you can send out a mass email blast we're going to show you that right here so if you were to click on the button or the box right here the check box now when you click on that you will simply go to the top right hand corner and click send email so as you can see here we do have the two emails in there and you can say um i don't know credit credit boost or something like that right and then here you can create your own email um hey guys and whatever so and you can you know do various things such as make it bold you can underline all the good features you can do that right here inside of chess now the other thing is you can also select our pre-written templates so we have marketing templates as you can see here marketing emails and when you click on that then you go to next you can select the template that you want all right so let's say for instance we want to send the letter to um to welcome welcome somebody right so let's say we want to welcome somebody to your services all right so now there's a welcome message that you can select from our pre-written templates and we'll always be updating our templates um so you can provide the best service for your clients then all you have to do is just click on send email and then it'll send the emails directly from your email and they will check it and when they see it they'll respond and then you can communicate with them from there so that's a very very powerful feature that you can use our email marketing suite that comes with chess is very powerful and very easy and you don't have to pay for something like mailchimp or these other uh email marketing platforms you can do that right inside of chess template manager so the template manager is where you will then go to um you can create new templates okay so you can look at our templates that we have already imported inside of chess um you can also Create your own templates on your own letters if you have any unique letters any letter that you would like to uh, use to dispute for your clients you can add them right here okay so it's very simple and very easy um, if we if you have any questions you can always reach out to us we're not gonna give a full demo on how to add the new templates 
um, but we want to let you know that you can also import your own tip templates so you can provide them for your clients okay now right here you can also again you can look at the templates that we have in our system very powerful letters that you can send for your clients with just a few clicks all right so again we have hundreds of templates and inside of our template manager you can come here to add your templates now let's go to the next one reasons so if you would like to add new reasons as to why you want to dispute this particular account you can do that right here okay so in the reasons list we have already pre-written and created our own reasons that are automatically generated when you extract the credit report but you can add another reason if you would like to do so and then basically put that right inside of the template very simple and very easy again when you sign up for chess if you have any specific questions you can ask those questions but we've made sure that everything is easy so you can use it um, without having to struggle all right we have the types we're not going to get into that right now and then we have our letters flow so for each round as you can see round one round two round three all these different rounds everything is already assigned and it's ready for you to use it okay so you can see it here so for each round each type of dispute each letter everything that you're doing is already done inside of chess we've already done all the hard work all you have to do is just sign up and then use it all right our creditors list so on the left hand corner you'll see the name creditor so here, this is where you come if you would like to communicate or find any creditor or collection agency that is in America. And we've made sure to do all of the heavy lifting for you so you don't have to try to search or find them. Everything is right here inside of Chess. So all you have to do is just come in here. You can search for the creditor right here. And we search for them and you find them, then you can locate them. And if you would like to give them a call, you can give them a call at your convenience. So this is something for those who would like to dive deeper into the creditors. You can do that right here. Credit bureaus. So if you look on the left hand corner where the sidebar is down here, if you click on where it says bureaus, then it's going to show you the credit bureaus. So it's going to show you their names, TransUnion, Experian, Equifax, Innovis, Check Systems, LexisNexis, Clarity Services, SageStream, CoreLogic, and Factor Trust. And many of these you may not know about, but we made sure to include that. Uh, information right here and so basically if you like to call them all you have to do is go here look at the number and then you can call them accordingly um, and then with Innovis and check system you can call them but Lexis Nexus clarity services and etc they don't have any um, numbers to call so you would then have to uh, just go online and just speak online or reach out to them online because they don't allow for people to be able to call them accordingly but again there is their addresses so if you like to write letters to them then all you have to do is just go to the uh, client center and go to the person's account and then in the dispute center which is not showing here for mark but in the dispute center um, because obviously we haven't extracted it we've already gone over that demo but you can also uh, send out letters to the credit bureaus if you would like to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next module, trade lines. Now, many people ask us about trade lines and how they can purchase trade lines. We also get people who ask um, about selling their trade lines on our platform. Now, AU trade lines are simply other people's credit cards that we then offer for consumers such as yourself to place on your credit report. And that's simply what it is. So all the payment history, the credit limit, et cetera, it gets placed on your credit report and then that significantly boosts your credit score. However, um, for, with our AU trade lines, we want to talk about this. So if your client needs trade lines, what you can do is when you click on trade lines, you can look at our inventory, okay? 
and you can see what we have that's available we update it every single month and if you would like to upsell our trade lines and that's simply by adding on an additional fee for the services that you provide then you can do that and then you can sell our trade lines to your clients okay so that's an additional way for you to also to help your client but then also be able to make more money at the same time okay so we have a lot of trade lines that we offer and simply all you have to do is you go down here to the order form and then you would you know enter the name of the lender the inventory id the client's full name um etc and then you can also put your information in here but again this is a way for you to be able to make money on your end by simply selling trade lines to your clients you can make money as well as help your clients because trade lines are very important when it comes to being able to provide the best quality service uh, for your clients when they're trying to achieve a specific goal all right and so we also offer funding we also offer other things but we have given you a tutorial of chess i hope that you have enjoyed our tutorial i hope that you utilize it the, the best of your ability because we have worked very hard and very tirelessly to provide this for you so you can optimize your business expand your business grow your business make more money help more people and do the things that you want to do in life because we have done all of the hard work and all you have to do is go in here sign up and then utilize our services so i hope that you all have enjoyed we have enjoyed it uh with you and again if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com and if you're ready to get started go to the website that we have provided and get started now peace